So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect uh, IoT devices uh, to an access uh, uh, access point or a wireless router. So I will need an access point and a router. Let's say we go to wireless devices and I choose a wireless router. And for a wireless router, we need uh, this one, WRT300N wireless router and also we need an access point choose a PPT okay I just want to show you how to connect um, uh, a wire IoT devices to wireless uh, devices for example wireless router and an access point remember we've been using a home gateway to connect IoT devices so this is a case that uh, probably we don't have the home gateway because uh, we have a registration server for IoT devices. So what we purchase is only a wireless device, uh, an access point or a wireless router. So I just go and devices, then you come home and uh, let's say the I want to on this side, I want um, fan on this side, I want uh, speaker on this side and even this one on this side. Okay. And also for under uh, um, access point, I want this one. I want this one. Um, I want this one. Mm, and I want that one. Okay. Then what do we do? You know, these IoT devices by default they have a username, a wife SSID of a home gateway. If you click on it, that that smart door. Then you come to config and then well as zero you can see ssd is home gateway but this wireless router its S default ssd is um i'll just get to do high um, or you got just go to config and click on wireless and see so see the default uh, um uh, ssd is default so let's change it to say IoT WR wireless route and I don't want to put password as per now but you on your case you can do that so if I go to this door here and I come to wireless zero and I just copy I just paste the one that I wrote to the other side I come to the fan come to config wireless zero and I do for whole devices very very fast Save time. So maybe we were connecting to a switch, then our registration server was very far away. We used these devices because maybe we don't want to register our um, IoT devices to the home to, to the home server. You know, we want to, to a remote server that is located somewhere else so for this side also I'll create an SSD for this and I come to config uh, part 1 and let's say uh, IoT AP I copy that click on that one and I do it very very fast this time Okay, so we're done. So on this side and on this side, we'll be needing uh, a controller device. Uh, let's say um, a tablet on this side and a tablet on this side. And for the tablet, we just connect them to the Wi-Fi, just the SSID.
okay so the next thing that you have to verify if uh, they have obtained IP addresses you can see it has obtained IP addresses it has obtained IP addresses um, it has obtained it has obtained and uh, this one probably uh, it has obtained uh, you know this is a, a wireless router so the wireless router uh, will hack at the DCP server to provide IP addresses to these devices but for the case of an access point an access point would require uh, uh, a DCP server that is designated a dedicated DCP server because it, it itself is not a DCP server you can see all these uh, uh, devices have not been located IP addresses so that's how to, conf uh, to connect uh, um, IoT devices to uh, a wireless router or an access point. As per now, we cannot ac access the interfaces of these um, devices. We cannot um, control these devices. Why? Because there is no registration server. The wireless router cannot hack as the registration server. Remember when we were using a, a home gateway, home gateway itself was a registration server and we could have registered these devices, for example this one, just go here and IoT server will you register under a home gateway, okay? But now, you know, we have come in the situation where we want to register our IoT devices under remote server. So that's very very important concept that we are going to look at and that's why I brought a concept of co connecting IoT devices to a wireless router or um, um, what was this called uh, access point okay all right so basically that will mark the end of this video and in the next video we're going to learn how to connect uh, uh, to, to register to a remote IoT server. So thank you so much for watching this video and let's see you again in the next video.